We're considering ions in solution and in this uh, little lecture we're going to consider one of the factors which governs the energetics of ions in solution namely ionic strength. This equation here you remember, may remember as Coulomb's law from introductory physics uh, that says that the energy of interaction between two charges of charge Q1 and Q2 is inversely proportional to one over their distance and the proportionality constant are these things here uh, dielectric constant and di uh, the permittivity of s uh, free space. The point I want to make here is that if now we double the charge so for example if we just have here NaCl then we'd have uh, a positive plus one charge for Q1 and a negative minus one charge for Q2. But now let's say we have magnesium sulfate which dissociates in water to form the magnesium two plus ion and the sulfate uh, two minus ion. Here we have double the charge and so if you now have uh, where Q1 and Q2 were the charges on the sodium, now you're doubling them. The energy interaction goes as um, not twice but four times. And similarly, if you triple the charge uh, compared to the sodium and chloride, then the interaction goes up by a factor of nine. So they multi uh, the charge or the Coulombic interactions uh, vary multiplicatively uh, with charge. Okay, so with that idea we introduce uh, a concept called ionic strength which will give the symbol I. The ionic strength qualitatively is a property of the solution which will govern the shielding of charges in solution. So for example if you have a positive charge here say corresponding to a sodium ion, uh, if you have a test particle out here that test particle will feel the positive charge. However, if you put in other ions here, say negatives, uh, put in some other ions in between the charge and the test charge here, there's where you're measuring the electric potential. The more charges you put in here, the less um, uh, you're felt or less the um, positive charges felt out here. So you might say ionic strength is a form of shielding of charges. This is how we define ionic strength is a concentration times charge squared and we're putting a charge squared in there because the energy of interactions vary as the square of the charge. So this is a definition of ionic strength and so for each ion in solution you take its concentration and multiply by its charge squared and add them all up and divide by one half. Let's do some examples. Here's um, what's the ionic strength of 0.15 molal solution of sodium chloride. Well the ionic strength will give the symbol capital I just rewrite that definition here that's the sum over all ions of the char or the concentration of the ion let's use molality for the concentration times the charge on the ion squared and always forget that one half so it's half. So let's do it for um, sodium chloride when you put sodium chloride in water we have plus and minus sodium positive and chloride minus and we're going to sum over all the ions and so these are the only two ions uh, and the solution concentration is point uh, would we say one five molal. So this implies that the concentration of sodium ions will be 0 0.15 molal and the concentration of chloride ions that will be 0 0.15 molal. The charge on the sodium is plus one. Note that we're using Z as a sign charge but it won't matter because we're squaring it. And for uh, chloride Z will be minus one. So we have this information. We're ready to calculate the ionic strength. Ionic strength will be the sum of the, all the ions. Let's do chloride, uh, sodium first. Its concentration is 0 0.15 molal. Its charge is plus one and we're going to square that. And then the chloride, that's the second ion in solution, 0.15 molal and this charge is minus one but we're going to square that and this whole thing uh, we take half of that. 
So the ionic strength of something that dissociates into just single positive, single negative species is just 0 0.1, um, sorry, 0 0.15 molal. It's the same concentration. You're just taking a half and you're just adding them up and dividing by two. Now, let's do the same calculation for a 0.15 molal solution of sodium phosphate. Okay, so sodium phosphate, 0 0.15 molal solution of sodium phosphate. Let's look at the sodium ions, concentration of sodium ions. Well, there's three, aha, uh -huh. so that's a little higher, 0 0.45 molal. And the charge in the sodium <coughs> is uh, plus one still. How about the phosphate? Concentration of phosphate is uh, 0 0.15 molal, 0.15 molal, one particle there, but the charge is minus three. So for this calculation, the ionic strength will be one half times the sum over all the ions. We just have two ions. It'd be the charge of the or the concentration of sodium, 0 0.45 times the charge in the sodium plus one squared plus the concentration of phosphate, 0 0.15 times, and this is where things get a little um, different here, we have the charge in the phosphates minus three, and we're going to square that. So the ionic strength of uh, a 0.15 molar solution of sodium phosphate is 0.9 molal. Note that the units of ionic strength are the units of the concentration units you're using. So that means that uh, even though you have the same concentration of sodium chloride and sodium phosphate, sodium phosphate has a much higher ionic strength, which means it's much more effective in shielding uh, two charges in solution. Okay, so that's the concept of ionic strength.